Are you sick of your reference images not showing up in Maya? This pink box with an X in it driving you crazy? All right, let me show you how to fix this. So the best thing you can do is set a project. Now what setting a project does is it puts all of your folders, all of your files, everything into one master folder for Maya to read. And you can take that file and you can transfer that from computer to computer. And as long as you take that entire file, everything will transfer, including your reference image. All right, so we're gonna to go to File, Project Window. And here we can set a new project and we can name this uh, whatever we like. I always like to add underscore Maya at the end so I know what I'm looking for in my project if I've got other files with other software involved. And then you're gonna go and find out where this location is. So let's take a look. We'll just go ahead and put it inside of here. And we're going to select this as the file path. Now what this is gonna do is this is gonna set up each of these as a folder. Now the benefit of this is it's going to save all of my Maya scene files, which are my MB or MA files, basically your model files, anything you're making in Maya is gonna automatically go there. Uh, you export images out, they're gonna go here. Source images, that's where you're going to put your source images so Maya can find them. Auto saves, that's also nice to have. It's not needed for Maya to run. However, this is really good housekeeping to make sure that all your files stay where they need to stay. If you find yourself hopping from computers, you're going from the office to home or school to home or wherever, if you bring your entire Maya file with you, everything in this project will stay put. That way when you open Maya, you're not going to lose your reference images, for example. So just hit accept. And now make sure to go file, save scene as, now name whatever you want this file to be named. I like to do whatever the name is, underscore 001. This ensures that every time I save, I can up that number to underscore 002, 003, etc. Save as, and now my project is set. Now anytime I open Maya, this is important, every time for this project to work and save, go to file, set project, Find out where that's at. This is why I do underscore Maya, so I can click on that project and hit set. Now, anytime I save in this file setup, it will automatically save in that project. Again, I can do a save as, and I'm good to go. So now let's take a look at adding the reference image. The first thing we need to do is set the view to front. This is important. Once we have our front view set, go to view, Image plane, import image. Now, as long as I have put my image into the source images folder of my set project, like this, grab your reference image, like so, find your source images folder, paste it in. You click on it, comes right up. Next thing we can do is scale appropriately. Now to make sure I can see through my model to my image, click this X-ray button right up top. Now I can make sure to get my reference art into my project and make my art look just like my reference. And if for whatever reason, Maya still hasn't found your reference image, select the pink box, go to your attribute editor, under image name, select the folder, find your reference image, hit open, and you're good to go. Well, that's about the bare bones of it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.